Hi everyone, welcome to Live Tarot. With me, Dreamland. Hi, welcome. So sorry I missed everyone last week. We had a um, passing in our family. My grandson's father passed away last week. So we want to send out condolences to him and his family and everyone keep them in our thoughts and prayers. All right. So I hope you can hear me and I'm just going to give everyone a few minutes to get in here because I know it's um, a different time. I had to start with a different time. We've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks that I may have to shift the time around. I am, um, as you know, if you follow me anyway, I have been uh, hanging out with my daughter, helping her um, through some stuff. So uh, my schedule has to change. So sorry about that, guys. And I hope that that is uh, okay and all of you will be able to make it. So I've been working also, I just want to say I've been working on the Zodiac Tarot readings and most of them are up. I'm down to the earth signs and believe it or not, this Mercury retrograde, like I said, was going to be very potent because there's so much going on. But uh, I did the Taurus reading and it was cut off right at the end. And then I accidentally deleted it when I was trying to splice it and all kinds of stuff. So anyway, I have to start over with Taurus. And then I still need to do Virgo and Capricorn, but I have a lot of things going on this week. It's very um, uh, difficult getting the schedule and all the interruptions with the internet and stuff. So I'm doing my best. So I just want to say, look for those. They they are coming soon, I swear. Um, again, gosh, I hope you guys can hear me. I went back to my phone for the live tarot because of the computer issues and um, setting up the stream and stuff. I don't. I'm, I'm learning all that. So hello. I see someone coming in. That's awesome. Hello, Venus, Neptune. Welcome. Welcome. I was, I was just saying hello and going over a couple of things and going to dive into the uh, collective message in just a moment. I was just letting a couple people get in here. Um, so how you doing? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Anyway, yes, as I was saying, I was just going over a couple of things and going to wait for everyone to get in here. Um, if you're new to uh, new here, there's always a collective message. I start with the collective message and then I open up the floor for everyone where I do card pulls where you can um, ask for a general reading or you can um, receive a, uh, you know, you can ask a question or something. We can see about getting you a reading that way. Hi, Mary. Well, it's nice to meet you, Mary. My name is Dream Lynn, so nice to meet you. Welcome. Uh, I missed last week. I was uh, saying to everyone, I was sorry I missed last week. We had a passing in my family. My grandson's father passed away, so uh, just asking everyone to hold him and the family in your prayers for that. Um, so without further ado, though, guys, let's dive into it. I know everyone should be coming here. I am sorry about the time as well. I had to change it. We will now be going live at 10 a.m. on Mondays instead of 11. So I apologize for that, too. But my life, is, my life is shifting and therefore my schedule has to shift, too. So oh, it's a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much, Spirit, Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. Highest energies for the collective, please. Highest energies for the collective. Can you hear me okay, Mary? I guess you can because you're communicating with me, but I just want to make sure. Thank you, dear. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, my grandson, he's uh, 13, so it's a, it's already a very difficult age, you know, going through all those changes and stuff at that age. So it's, it's definitely been difficult. So overarching us, we have goddess energy. This is number 14, reducing down to a five. So this could be about some conflicts or struggles, which are certainly in the collective right now. Um, things are being brought back around with Mercury retrograde. So we can take a new look at it and, and see how we want to change and move forward. But this is also like a, a I get like a empress energy. So I feel like spirit is saying to nurture ourselves, take care of ourselves. We've had a lot of, um, uh, downloads where nutrients are very important, especially water right now. It's very important for us to be hydrating our bodies. 
Um, I had a download the other day where I literally tasted the water. Spirit literally had me taste the water and it was so amazing. But this says, make sure to feel it in your bones for you are what you believe. So this is all about what the um, things you're putting into yourself. What are you watching online? What are you engaging in? What kind of people are in your realm, you know, in your immediate? Uh, what kind of foods are you putting into your body? Um, are you, you know, being kind to yourself? Are you uh, taking care of yourself? Are you doing those right things for yourself? This is all about nurturing yourself um, because you are what you believe and you also are your environment. So, you know, it all starts within. So we have to um, like give ourselves that energy. I feel like spirit is saying to take care of ourselves. Look at how thick that honey is, you know, to taste the sweetness of of yourself and and what you are because you can be everything that you want to be make sure to feel it in your bones it says <clears throat> excuse me because you are what you believe as i was saying that number five um that re or 14 reduces to that five so a lot of us could be traveling but we could be de um, dealing with a lot of difficulties and I'm certainly feeling that in the collective energy, there's a lot of struggle. Um, with the Zodiac readings that I've been doing this week, the number five has been coming up quite a bit. Um, and the message is very clear to be taking care of ourselves because we are going through a significant change right now. This is a huge transformation. All the cosmos that are lining up right now, this is big. It's very big. Let's see what else the cards have to say. Oh, look at this. Right here at the heart of it, right at the center, the present moment, Six of Cups comes out, confirming that, you know, past energies are coming back for us to take a look at. Um, it could be even past energies of how we treat ourselves. Are we being kind to ourselves? Are we nurturing our bodies? Are we giving so much of ourselves that we're not giving enough to, you know, to ourselves, like giving so much to other people, um, depleting our energy, that kind of stuff. But we have the six of cups here. So it could be past lovers um, coming back. But I really feel like this energy is, um... oh, well, all right, spirit. It could be past lovers, past contracts coming back. I feel like this energy really has something to do with how we're um, treating ourselves. And that could, you know, apply there. Uh, past energies come back, past relationships come back. Are you treating yourself better than you did before when you were in this relationship? Have uh, the way that you see yourself and believe yourself to be, has that changed since you were in that relationship? You know, have you evolved, that kind of stuff? Because we have the lovers crossing us. So this could be about decisions, choices, or uh, commitment, partnerships uh, that are coming back around for us. <laughs> I feel like um, what's coming out here, I mean, it could be a blossoming of love coming back, relationships coming in as the story is unfolding here. Um, we had the Knight of Cups crowning us. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and pull all these cards, guys, and just get the energy. Uh, but we have the Knight of Cups crowning us. So, um, we do. I feel like we could have love on the mind. We could have partnerships on the mind. Um, this could just even be right back to the self. It could be about taking care of yourself and loving yourself, being gentler, more compassionate with your um, self and others. But it seems like the relationships are going to come through. So we're going to see what happens here. Yeah. Could be new relationships starting to form. And they could be relationships that you honestly may have had with someone in the past. Like, it could be a past lifetime. So let's not think, let's go, you know, broader than this moment or this lifetime. It could be someone from a past lifetime that's coming back around and things are different. There's a difference here. This could even be um, one of those relationships where 
like say you met someone on a date and you just didn't things didn't really click and then all of a sudden this person comes back around and things are clicking right things are getting better things look different uh you've changed they've changed you guys mesh more now something like that what else spirit definitely could be anything so do you know do open your mind to um the possibilities you know i can hear people oh my god because <laughs> i get like that myself you know i can get like that myself sometimes um but seriously people change we all do so oh ah, okay that looks really good Anything else? <laughs> we have the King of Wands on the bottom, guys. So definitely something um, really powerful is happening right now in this energy. Something very powerful is um, happening. We have a lot of change that is overarching us. So right here at the present moment, as I was saying, um, the present moment we have the six of cups so definitely people coming back from the past or issues coming back from the past however it resonates in your life it does feel like this is going to be more of a romantic kind of reading where there's going to be more about um, the the potential um, potential rebirth of a relationship or something like that because we have the uh, Six of Cups here being crossed by the lover. So I do feel like this is someone um, that was in the past for you or us that is coming back around and we're taking a new look at it because, you know, with all this cosmic energy that's happening right now, the North Node, Chiron, Mercury retrograde, all of this, it is really setting us all up to take a look at something new, something different. And as I was saying, this could be um, one of those relationships where maybe you went out on a blind date or maybe you were supposed to meet someone, you know, maybe you were supposed to meet someone on a date and it, something fell through and it's coming back around like a second opportunity is what I really feel is happening here. But it could also be someone that you've um, loved in the past could be someone from a past lifetime because it doesn't feel like that that um energy where you can sit there i can hear people saying and i've been there um well i don't want none of my exes you know i don't want none of my exes i i don't feel like a negative energy here to where when this person comes back around we're going to be looking at it like you know stand back right i feel like a really positive energy because in our recent past we've released all the shit we have the devil here in reverse we've let go of all the toxins we've let go of all the uh the past traumas we've given forgiveness you know maybe we've forgiven even um some of these people in our lives you know uh but we've definitely changed who we are we have evolved uh, we have evolved and everyone else has, ha has evolved because we're a collective and what happens to me happens to you. It happens in different ways with different players, different people, but it still happens. So, you know, we've really evolved and we've, we've been able to release ourselves from some of these strongholds, these toxic behaviors, that kind of stuff. So when this energy comes back around, to get this net, um, you know, fresh new look, uh, I feel like it's going to be really good. And I feel like because we have the Nine of Cups crowning us, I feel like this is, you know, as I've been doing the, the um, Zodiac readings and as I've been getting downloads and stuff, Spirit has really been reiterating that um, our hearts are being opened back up. If you look at our past um, energies, the past years, you go back before like when Aquarius was in Capricorn and stuff and you look at all that darkness and the energy, the energy is much lighter, right? It's starting to become lighter. So I feel like our hearts are being cracked back open and we're, we're opening up to romance and we're opening up to the possibility of the magic 
that can happen within a relationship, that can happen with a union, with a partner, with someone that, you know, you really mesh with and click with because the energy that's coming in here today is that you are going to mesh with this person. You are going to connect with this person. And it may be, as I keep saying, someone from the past, because right at the present moment at the center, we have that six of cups. That's nostalgia. That's the past. So it could be even, you know, old friends or anything coming back, whatever kind of contracts you're making. Lovers doesn't always have to be romance, but I do feel the romance. So, you know, take it how it fits in your life. But that's what's crossing us is the lovers. And then crowning us, I feel like with the Knight of Cups, that we are going to be reopening our hearts and actually um, opening up to the ideas of romance and possibilities of, you know, I'm hearing like chivalry and, and just, you know, uh, gentle, gentleness, compassion, love and care, someone opening the door for you. And it's not just something that they do, um, because they want to impress you. It's actually something they do because it's a part of who they are and it's a part of their character. Like I said, we've all evolved. We've all changed. We're all leaving behind these old toxic behaviors and, and beliefs and things that have held us down for so long and has made, you know, our relationships so difficult. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of opening that's going to be happening here. Uh, down in the emotions, how are we feeling about it? We're pretty calm about it. We have the five of wands in reverse. So we're not fighting it. We're not resisting it. We're actually pretty open to it with that five of wands. We may even be, um, well, I feel like we're desiring it, right? Like we're really wanting this for ourselves. Um, no more battling. No more battling it. We're no longer uh, resisting our emotions. We're no longer resisting the love or the passion or the ideas of romance, right? We're very open and receptive to it. Because like I was saying, I feel like collectively our hearts are being opened back up and lots of things are changing in this energy. Okay, so I want to look right here. I'm going to go over here to um, our outside influences. We have the seven of wands. Now, the seven of wands, um, this is about standing your ground. It's about standing up for yourself. It's about um, being firm in your person, right? Being firm with who you are and standing that ground. So I feel like uh, we're going to be stepping up. We're going to be standing up for what we want in love, what we expect in our, our relationships, we're not going to be backing down so much because we've um, evolved to this place where we really don't have to, um, we don't have to back down so much because there's not, there's not so much of a fight anymore. People are actually communicating with each other on different levels. They're not um, going into these blown out arguments and fighting and stuff. So we're not going to have to do that. I feel like we're just um, standing our ground in what we want. You know, being um, firm in in ourselves and what we want for our lives and our relationships where we're not settling for less. That's what I really feel with that seven of wands. I feel like that's we're saying, you know what, I'm not going to settle for less than what I deserve. I know what I deserve and I know the work I've done. I know what I've let go of, you know, so we're going to um, accept the things in our lives that we do deserve and stand our ground with those things that we don't and step up and, you know, and express ourselves because a lot of that energy too in that darkness was people keeping their mouths shut and not having those hard conversations, not really expressing their feelings, right? Not really being honest, kind of um, bowing down, right? Bowing down to someone else's feelings. Like your feelings are more important than mine. And now we're realizing that ours are just as important. So I feel like it's, um, Pretty good energy coming in there that we're just going to be, you know, standing firm in who we are, this newness of who we are. Um, with um, our hopes, dreams, and fears, because this is new energy, we, um, I've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks too. This is new energy. We are in the in between. I really feel like we're in the, you know, in between um, here with this North Node energy and all that we've been having because we've been getting these tens and ones. And anytime I feel like there's a double digit number, 
I feel like there's an in-between there because you're not quite there and you're not quite out of it. So I feel like um, with what were our hopes, dreams, and fears, what I feel like is we're in between, but we see the truth. We see things. We see it clearly. We have the two of swords here in reverse. So um, we're not confused on what we want. We're not confused on what we're allowing into our lives. We're not confused on the love affair we want to have or the romance that we want to have in it or any of that. We're no longer confused. We're actually very clear on what we want in our lives and who we want in our lives and um, how even we're going to, you know, go about having these relationships and having these people in our lives. Uh, we see the truth. We see the truth. We know that, you know, <laughs> um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing love hurts, but I'm also hearing, uh, love is a battlefield and it is, but we also know that, you know, uh, every battle can be conquered, right? We can conquer a battle. And so I feel like, um, we're seeing the truth that love isn't so, you know, hard. It doesn't have to be so hard. It can actually be very good when two people come together and are mutual and respectful of one another and have done the work. And that's what I see here is I really see two people coming together that have done the work. Um, in your uh, advice, Spirit is saying, remember to hold back something for yourself. We have the four coins here. This is, uh, you know, about keeping a little bit for yourself. Sometimes it can be holding on too tightly, but that's not the energy that I feel. What I feel here is spirit is saying to make sure that you um, nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Remember that Empress energy, that goddess energy, drink from the cup, continue to take care of yourself, hold a little bit back for you. You know, these, these relationships, especially new ones, they can take a lot from us. They can deplete a lot of our energy because they're very exciting, especially in the beginning, you know, as you're, you know, getting to know each other and, you know, and things like that. So spirit is saying, make sure that you, you know, continue to hold a little bit back for yourself and continue to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself and to believe in yourself overarching energy to believe in yourself. Make sure to feel it in your bones. It says for you are what you believe. You are what you believe. So drink from the, the cup there. Um, futuristic and in the potential outcome, we have a brand new beginning. We have a brand new beginning, um, a passionate beginning, a uh, very uh, magnetic, charismatic, very um, fiery, beginning here. Uh, there's the potential for that. We have um, in the potential outcome, we have the two of wands with the queen of swords. And in the future, we have the fool. So this um, all together tells me that there's a bright new beginning for us and we can embrace it. It's something that we're going to embrace because we have that two of wands there and it's in the upright. So we're actually going to embrace this. We're going to take action. This is an action card. Both of those energies are action, you know, um, but we're going to um, have a bright new, brand new beginning with somebody. And I, it does feel, as I was saying, like this is love. This is romance. Um, we see romance differently. You know, we see the truth, that Queen of Swords right there. I don't know why I said the Queen of Wands, but the Queen of Swords right here, we see the truth. We see things clearly now. So it's a very beautiful energy and we're ready to embrace this brand new beginning. We're ready for a new adventure. We're ready for a new love affair, right? We're ready to let love in, to open our hearts and have it filled and to embrace somebody, to embrace somebody new to be embraced. Oh my God. You know, just think of that to be embraced by someone that you totally mesh with. And that's the energy that is here today. This is absolutely beautiful guys. I am loving this. I hope that you guys are. Let's get a little bit more. See what else spirit has to add. Thank you so much spirit. What else for us? What else? What else for us? We are going to have, you know, some ups and downs. We have that energy of the five there, but it doesn't feel like it's a bad energy right now. This feels like a very productive, good energy. It feels like more of a flow. 
Uh, but I feel like with the five there, there are, you know, or there is possibility of ups and downs. So just be ready for a few bumps and stuff, but I think you're going to do okay. I really, I really feel like it's not anything massive, which is great. What else, Spirit? What else? Let's see. Don't forget to communicate what is on your heart. The cards are going quiet, so there, don't forget. This is a brand new beginning. This is something new. You get to start communicating yourself completely, honestly, from the depths of your soul. You get to share the truth. So don't forget to express your needs, what you um, want in a relationship. Be real about it. Relationships are getting real, guys. They're getting real. <laughs> <laughs> like where no one is holding anything back, but we have to keep the communication alive. I feel like that's what Spirit's saying, because, you know, when we shut down the communication, things start to fail. Communication is very key. So uh, communicate your truths, your desires, your wants, your needs, your expectations, even. Thank you. Be clear. Thank you, Spirit. Yes. Be very clear about what it is that you expect in your romance. You know, uh, hey, I love, I love tulips. So, you know, a big bouquet of tulips, man, from time to time would be pretty awesome. So express those things. Um, I need alone time. I need alone time. Otherwise, I take on so much energy that um, I explode. I mean, you have to be able to release it. So express those needs, express those things. Don't be afraid to tell the truth. Be who you really are. Express your inner world, open it up. We're opening up our inner world and we're letting people in, but we're standing firm, standing firm. Like, you know, I'll let you in, you know, we're standing firm, but clarity, we have clarity. So it says, take a moment to think about your situation to figure it out clarity be clear in what you want express your needs express your desires to whomever is coming into your world into your life thank you so much what else let's get us a little be your own magic and then we will get us a mindful message and i'll open up the floor in just a few moments i see everyone's comments it's so nice to see everybody i get have missed you guys so much this is such a huge transformation in my life maybe i'll go live later tonight and just kind of talk about things because i know i've been off you know kind of out of the world and stuff and people may be wondering so i might come on tonight guys look at this definitely i definitely feel like this is someone that's coming back around and it is someone possibly from a past lifetime not any of that i don't want none of my exes stuff this is this is energy that feels good this could be as i was saying in the beginning uh maybe a blind date that didn't happen or something like that and the opportunity is coming back around because it is your it's your time this is you know north node energy the collective we are moving toward our destiny so it's our time look at this we had at the present moment we had the six of cups right nostalgia someone from the past number 33 the six lovers nostalgia someone from the past focus on the here and now focus on the here and now so when this person does come back around i feel like spirit is saying be present be in the moment with them, stay in the moment. You know, if, if you do have things you need to discuss, discuss them with openness and compassion and understanding and, and come to, uh, you know, a peaceful resolution and then stay in the past because anytime you're living in the past, I mean, in the present, stay in the present in the here and now, because if you're living in the past in your relationship, it's never going to work. Okay. You have to be present in it now because this is a brand new opportunity for you and a, a new lover a very romantic lover so um do stay in the here and now practice that uh mindfulness i've been going outside you guys know i was in alaska now i'm down in west virginia it's like 80 degrees 
I think going outside, getting me a little sun, trying. So get outside, take shoes off, get grounded, stay present in the here and now. And nurture yourself. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Water. Very, very important right now. Water. I cannot express how important water is right now for all of us guys. So uh, you guys know I got really addicted to my coffee being back up in Alaska, but I have been um, changing that back to my water. Very, very important that we get the, um, get the water that we need, especially. And uh, pay attention to what you're feeding yourself. Remember that crowning energy. Pay attention to what you're feeding yourself, what you're engaging in. You know, uh, what are you watching on TV? Those kinds of things, because all of it is important. Oh. All of it is, all of it is important. Okay, look at this. As I'm talking about water, what jumps out? Water is so important for us right now. It says, water my dreams. All I desire is on its way to me. But like a seed, my dreams too must be watered. My belief and determination is what makes them grow. I will be patient throughout this journey. It is all unfolding at the perfect time. It's our destiny, babies. It's our destinies. And look at this green. This is heart chakra energy. Get out there, ground your energy because you're going to need that recharge, especially in that heart space because something's coming for you. This one here, recharge. I invite magic into my life always. Every day I grow my connection to this earth. If I am ever feeling low, I simply step outside and appreciate the natural miracles in this life. Being in nature lifts my spirits and recharges my energy. So get out there and, um, you know, get your feet wet. Uh, maybe even go do those cleanses and stuff at the lake. If you can get to a lake or waterfall or something like that, you know, enjoy the water, drink the water too, and recharge your energy. And then always remember that you are enough. You are amazing. Every single piece of you is amazing and beautiful. Everything that you see as a flaw, someone else sees as a treasure. So you are enough. This here, it says, I am beautiful just as I am. I am loved just as I am. I am worthy just by being me. I don't need to fit in. I just need to be myself. And the right people will come into my life. Those who see and appreciate me for all that I am, because you are so wonderful. You're so amazing. As I was saying, every flaw is someone else's treasure. So be your beautiful self. You're amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, let's get us some charms. I'm getting ready to open up the floor. For those of you that are new here, welcome. Welcome, everybody. I see everyone. It's so good to see you. Uh, but for those of you that are new, I have two piles here of the tea leaves. Pile one is amethyst stone. Pile two is the agate. If you would like a general rating, just say general rating and which stone you would like, which pile. And if you want a specific question, that's okay too. Put your question down there and uh, let me know which pile you want. All right, thank you. You guys know my little pinky is my, um, my charm finder. Okay. So we got that Damascus knife feather knife thing again. Uh, this is a like a chef's knife. So this really is about nutrients. This is about feeding our bodies, taking care of ourselves, um, watching what we're putting in our lives, what we're, um, you know, eating, drinking, taking care of ourselves, eating those fruits and vegetables. Um, music. We have the music note. Look at this. Turn up the music, dance, do all those things that just um, light up your soul, light up your spirit. This is a beautiful, magical time. You could start receiving songs like uh, as this relationship unfolds, um, one of the connections or something that you may have with this person is music. So you guys may connect through the songs and the music and send each other songs or something. Okay, we've got a few letters here. We have the letter I. So if your name starts with an I or your person starts with an I, you know, you know the drill. You might start seeing eyes around too. We also have the letter Z. 
So there's that one. I'm getting the word zany when I pick that up. I don't know. Zany. I don't know if that's someone's name or what, but I'm getting the word zany as I pick up that Z. Okay. We also have the letter Y. And as I'm saying Y and Z, I'm getting that this is literally someone else coming back around because those letters are from the back of the alphabet. So it's like someone else coming back around and being right there at that end before the beginning in that in between. And last but not least, guys, we got the letter G. So if any of these letters resonate for you, there may be something in this collective message for you today. All right, all right guys, that's it. So collective message over. I'm going to open up the floor. I just want to say hi to everybody. Hi. Hey, little Ani. How you doing, girlfriend? Ah, uh, let's see. Madeline. Onessa, it's good to see you, girl. How you doing? I'm going to go back up there in just a minute and see what everybody's been um, talking about. Oh my goodness. Have you guys been paying attention to these storms, man? They are something. I was getting something about the storms in the Zodiac readings last week. Um, I don't know if you guys can see my sphere right here. Maybe not. I have this little sphere. And all last week at the top of it, it looked like it had this little uh, cyclone on top of it, like, you know, a tornado happening or something. And uh, Spirit kept talking to me about the storms. The storms were very important. So I just want to say, um, you know, our hearts go out, our prayers go out to everybody that has been in the storms. Um, we hope that you're okay, that your needs are met, um, all of that. So hi, Claire. Welcome. Hey, I know it's uh, Anessa. Let's see, Madeline, Lilani, Lee. Hey, girl. Hey, didn't I see Lydia a while ago? I think I saw Lydia. Yep. Hey, Lydia. Hey, James. Welcome. You look, I think you're new. Oh, girlfriend, Kristen. What's up, girl? There you are, my little Irish devil. How you doing? Hey, Kimmy. Let's see, who else is here? Mary. Oh my gosh. Hey. All right, guys. Let's open up the floor. Let's see. Pile one, amethyst. Pile two is agate. This is just my little way of letting you be a part of your reading. Um, so let's see where are we at. I think I saw. Yeah, Lee. Lee came in first. So I'm going to start with Lee and then we'll go from there, guys. Okay. So Lee. Pile one general message. Got it. Oh my goodness. Thanks so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Fun Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. This is for Lee. Highest energies for Lee. Highest energies for Lee, please. Highest energies for Lee. Ooh. Lee. Lee, my cards feel a little yucky. Hold on one second. Hun. The cards just feel a little, little yucky. So give me just one second. I'm going to cleanse them up a little bit. They're feeling um, stiff and stagnant. Here we go. This one feels worse. Okay. All right. Sorry about that, Lee. I just wanted to um, cleanse those because they just felt really yucky all right spirit thank you this is for lee highest energies for lee lee i feel a nervousness i get i keep um trembling like shaking i don't know if that is your energy or someone around you but i am really picking up a tremble and a shake i don't know um the shake could be could be an indication that maybe things are about to be shaken up in your world or something like that but i'm definitely getting um 
a shaking. I don't know if you can see it, but my hands are literally, can you see that? Yeah, they're shaking. And it's coming in as I'm starting to riffle for you. So I don't know um, what's happening there or if you resonate with that at all. Uh, Jupiter is conjunct Uranus. So uh, Lee, this might be a good time for you to look at your chart and see where that is taking place because Uranus is a great changer, right? <clears throat> That card really went over there. It's a great changer. Um, and this energy, Jupiter is an expander. So uh, things really could be getting shaken up. And depending on where that is in your chart, uh, it's going to, um, you know, how it's going to play out in your life. I don't know. But I would check Uranus and Jupiter and see what's going on in your chart. Because I do feel... I do feel that energy of, uh, you know, something being shaken up or something. There's a shaky energy. And, you know, um, this is quite, quite interesting right here with that shaky energy and with uh, Uranus coming into play and Jupiter coming into play. Uh, you know, Jupiter is a um, planet of blessings and stuff. But look, we have clouds and then we have happiness. So I feel like um, what is being said here is in the recent past, you may have had maybe some upheavals or something like that. You've had some uh, sadness going on or something like that. You know, problems, life problems um, going on possibly with someone who is very stubborn. They may have a strong Uranian uh, energy in their chart or something like that because I am getting a lot of change with the cards for you today. Uh, you have the mule coming in right after the clouds and the happiness in between here. You have the mule Someone um, is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So I don't know if you're dealing with, you know, this currently where you're just having a hard time with somebody where someone is just being like, you know what, Lee? No. You know, where they're just like, no. Um, but I can say in the collective message, we can start to see a lot more of that where people are going to be like, you know, standing up and just saying no, because, you know, they're, they're in their higher self and they're they're no longer willing to put their self on the back burner but that's not the energy that i'm getting here with you today the energy that i'm getting here with you today is you may have even broken free from something you might be even thinking about breaking free and going after some happiness because um i feel like you've been dealing with someone that's uh caused a lot of you know upheaval in your life is what i really get but spirit is saying that happiness is coming. Lean into the sun, lean into the light, lean into the sun. Um, go, you know, do things that are good for you. They take care of yourself. This is a very important time to be nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, you know, um, drinking water, getting outside, doing good things for yourself. Turn on some music, do something that lifts your soul or your spirit because happiness is there for you to have. Um, this right here feels very temporary and it is, you know, the cards even indicate and say temporary. So it's, it feels very temporary. It's one of those ups and downs that we go through life, but I feel like spirit is saying it's not going to be very much longer. You also could be starting to get um, phone calls, messages or something. I'm looking at all these birds right now. So you could start receiving messages, um, information, things that bring you joy, bring you happiness, that lift your spirits. People could start calling you that um, really love and care for you and they lift your spirits is what I'm getting for you today, Lee. I hope that helps you, sweetheart. And I hope that you are doing, you, you know, you're going to make it through this. I know that, but I hope that you're doing okay. I know it's very difficult. Um, this is, this energy is so, so difficult. So, oh, thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Let's see who is next. Um, let's see. It was Lee, Anessa. Anessa, you wanted a general reading with um, Pile One as well? <clears throat> okay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. This for Anessa. Highest energies for Anessa. Highest energies for Anessa. Highest energies for Anessa. All right, Anessa, that card popped out, so I'm going to leave it right here for a moment and just see what it has to say. Um, 
we have that uh we have the five the goddess the you know overarching us today so there is an indication you know of of struggle and difficult energy with that five but it's not anything that is keeping us down um so i do feel a little bit of struggle but then i mean things are just starting to riffle right away so i don't feel like it's going to keep you down anytime soon but i want to see what that is i am uh see what that card is onessa 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 excuse me guys my allergies oh there it is there's those temporary problems definitely coming up you know it's all um we're coming out of it we're coming out of it guys we really are anessa you've got the same card coming out you've got the clouds coming out temporary problems i feel like you know the energy is very short it's not going to be cloudy too long and spirit was talking to me about the storms remember so i don't know anessa if you're in part of the land where the storms are affecting you or not but if you are i hope that you're okay i hope that you're safe I feel um, spirit though wants you to know that these are temporary problems. Things are going to get better. Um, they're going to get better, and there's going to be a, a sp this is the card that jumped out. It's time to act. Um, this is about you know it's a lion. It's Leo energy. Um, this is about being in the spotlight, putting yourself out there. Spirit is saying it's time to act. Um, it could be with these temporary problems, these clouds, it could be, Anessa, that you were feeling a little depressed lately, a little down, a little withdrawn, something like that, the energy. And um, Spirit is saying, hey, if you're feeling like that, it's time to act. It's time to go after what you want. It's time to go after your dreams. Step into your power. Anessa, I just want to see, <clears throat> excuse me, if there's anything else. Anessa, Anessa. Vanessa. Vanessa. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, Vanessa, the clouds, it really does feel like it's, you know, kind of recent past energy where it's, we're coming out of it. Right. Um, I don't know if you have a secret admirer that you're well uh, aware of or if you have your eye on somebody. I'm not quite sure. But what you have coming out here with the time to act is the secret admirer. So this is about it's time for you to share. It's time for you to open yourself up and share your secrets possibly with someone, your feelings. You know, you're, maybe you have someone on your mind or something like that in your scope, like, you know, hey, I like you. Um, and if that's the case, Spirit is saying it's time to act. It's time for you to share your feelings. Don't hold yourself back anymore. Don't withdraw from this. Go forward. Move on with this. And or it could be the other way around, you know, where someone is going to start coming forward to you. Someone um, that has a crush on you, they may come to you and share their feelings. And, uh, you know, it may be an after a time of withdrawal or something like that is what I'm really getting here. But <clears throat> Whatever it is, however it resonates for you, Anessa, it's time for you to act. It's time for you to open up, to share your secrets, to go for it, to go for whatever it is you're wanting. You're welcome, sweetie. You're welcome. I hope it helps, honey. I hope it helps, really. Uh, let's see. Um, Leilani, are you still here? Pile one, love question. Okay, you have a question? Let me see your question. Where Did you put your question in there? Hi, Vaughn. Oh, welcome. Welcome, Vaughn. Uh, yeah, we'll get, we'll get to you in just a moment. Hey, Joyce. Good to see you, girlfriend. Hi. All right, Leilani, I don't see your question, honey. Can you put it back in there? I'm, um, Lee, you're doing great. Hey, Claire. There's so many people in here. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dream Lynn. I have two piles here where um, it's just my way of letting you engage in your reading a little bit more. I have the tea leaves separated. So pile one is amethyst. Pile two is agate. You can uh, request a general read or you can ask a specific question. And when you do so, let me know if you want pile one, the ag um, amethyst or pile two, the agate. 
and I will pull from those for you. Hey, girl. All right, Leilani, are you still here? Got a love question. Oh, thanks, Leilani. I hate water, just bought a circle water, and I'm going to change my low water intake. Uh, yeah, I get it. I mean, a lot of people don't like water, girlfriend. I get it. I get it. Okay. Uh, Leilani, I'm going to move down to Vaughn real quickly. Um, if you come back in, we'll come back to you because you said you had a specific question, and I don't see the question. So I'm going to go ahead and move down to Vaughn, who wants a general rating. Let me know if you come back in, Leilani, and drop your question down there, and we'll come back to you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. Highest energy for Vaughn. Highest energies for Vaughn. Highest energies for Vaughn. Vaughn. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. You probably heard every gulp, but I am, like, so thirsty. I'm telling you. Um... Back to that water. Yeah, a lot of people don't like water, but it, man, it's so amazing for us, isn't it? Okay, Vaughn. Oh, Vaughn, did you come to bring me tulips? <laughs> Vaughn, I was just um, saying in the collective message, you, uh, well, you might want to go back and check out the collective message. There might be something there for you, but I was just uh, sharing in the collective message about how I like tulips and a nice bouquet of tulips would be wonderful and how we're expressing ourselves and really sharing our needs and our desires and our wants. So I feel like um, with this card that came out, which is the tulip, I feel like Spirit is saying, uh, Vaughn, that it's time for you to express your needs, your desires, your wants, your hopes, your dreams, your fears, you know, um, you possibly express them with someone. We do have relationships coming back around. Uh, people coming back around, this may be about you sharing your hopes, dreams, fears with someone very special. Um, there is definitely something that needs to be communicated here, Vaughn, because when my cards go quiet like this, there's often a lack of communication or something needing to be communicated. I will often go three times just to make sure, but right now, the only thing we have here is tulips. And... Um, this is this is um, about great passion. So I feel like this is someone possibly, if you resonate with, um, you know, the love and the romance part of today's reading, that this is someone possibly that you have great passion for, someone that you have a lot of care and a lot of love for, and you really enjoy them and like them, and you likely need to express that. Cards went three times, nothing else came out. Tulips, great passion. So really, Vaughn, I feel like Spirit is saying to open up, to share your truth, um, express yourself. If this is someone that you desire, look at that red tulip. If it's someone that you desire, put yourself out there and share your truth. Let them know, hey, you know, I just, I, I just find you amazing. I, you know, you add so much to the world or whatever you feel for this person, express it express it. Um, if this is something more um, self-evolved, you know, something with you, maybe something that uh, you love a lot and you're wanting to share, like express, maybe you love art or something like that. Maybe you're a great painter. You're very passionate about art or something. You want to share it, put yourself out there. However it applies in your life, I feel like spirit is saying to put yourself out there and to share your passions and share your truths because man, it's going to bring so much to your life. I feel so much heart energy right here, right now. It is so amazing. It feels so good, Vaughn. So this energy for you is really, really beautiful energy. Just express yourself and be honest. I feel like that's the only thing saying. And if it is something that you need to express, something you need to share with someone, I feel like it's going to be received very well. So that's what I got for you, dear. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, Madeline. Hey, Madeline. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to go Claire, Joyce, and then Madeline. And uh, we will come back around to Leilani if she comes back in. Okay. Claire, pile two as well. General message. You're so welcome, Vaughn. You're so welcome. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, spirit guides and angels, divine mother and father, ancestors and loved ones. This is for Claire. Highest energies for Claire. Highest energies for Claire. Highest energies for Claire. Uh, Claire, as I'm sitting here riffling the cards, they're kind of slip sliding and I'm hearing slip sliding away. So I don't know if that song is important to you or if you even know that song, but I'm getting slip sliding away, slip sliding away. And I don't even know the song, but that's what I'm getting. It just keeps going over and over in my ears. So maybe give that song. Okay. One more time. Maybe give that song a listen. Give it a go. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that feels much better. All right. <laughs> yeah, maybe give that song a go, girl. Claire, highest energies for Claire, please. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you know, I just, I just know that song's like a, it's a happy song, right, Claire? You okay? You know the song, so it's like a happy song. So uh, it's just. I love how spirit works. Happiness is on the way. Sunshine, you know, get out there, do those good things for yourself. But what happened here is the first card that popped out is the sun card. So you could be dealing with the Leo, that is Leo energy, um, or you could have strong Leo in your chart, but you have the sun card coming out. And I feel like that's a very happy song, slip slide in a way, you know, and it gives me this energy that's, you know, kind of upbeat and, and happy. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not remembering it clearly, but we do have um, the sun coming in and spirit saying that happiness and well-being is of the utmost importance for you right now. So to do those good, kind things for yourself, um, to dive into the things that make you happy, strengthen your solar plexus, get out into the sunlight, you know, get those nutrients from the sun. Uh draw paint dance music came up in the collective message so maybe um music whatever do the things that uh, make you happy and take real good care of yourself you have this coming in um okay hold on one moment i'm gonna have to get a clarifier here claire I just want to confirm because you have this coming in with the casket. Now, this casket is not about necessarily, you know, a, a death, an actual physical death, but this is about someone possibly um, leaving your life. And it could be that someone recently left your life, like, you know, maybe a recent breakup or something like that, or you recently left some sort of situation. And that spirit is saying that, you know, happiness and well being is on its way. Um, happy days are coming. It, this also could indicate that you are getting ready to, uh, someone's getting ready to leave your life or you're getting ready to leave a situation. But I want to get a little clarification. Someone you know. Okay. Okay. All right. So, okay. Right now, Claire. Right now, currently, it feels like um, spirit is just reiterating and confirming to take care of yourself, nurture yourself, do those good things for yourself, right? Um, drink the water, no matter how much we like it. Drink the water, eat good foods, uh, be compassionate with yourself, pay attention to the things that you're watching on the TV, the people that are in your life, that kind of stuff, because your well-being and your happiness is at the um, forefront right now. In the near or possible potential future, maybe in May or around May or between now and, you know, like could be May of next year, even um, someone that has been very undependable and um, not good for you could potentially leave your life. Now we had that nostalgic energy that was in the collective message today. So this could actually even be someone that wasn't good for you that left your life coming back around. You only know, but what I really feel is like someone's about to leave your life. Someone that hasn't been necessarily the best for you. They may have gossip, um, you know, talked about you behind your back, things like that. Um, with that feather there, that's a message. This was insincerity. So they may have talked about you behind your back or something like that. And, um, you know, just really not been good for you. So I feel like right now you, 
the energy is kind of coupled because it, it's either you this recently happened or it's gonna happen but nonetheless you are thinking of your well-being you are thinking of your happiness and you may actually do something sometime in may like you may make this great shift this great change you may just like fly the coop or something like that with that five energy that's overarching us you might travel or leave or something but that is the uh definitely the energy that i'm getting for you and this this person definitely was not good for you and i i think you have you've had some sort of possibly an epiphany during this Mercury retrograde, um, or it hasn't taken place yet because we're still in that that retrograde. Mercury is going to be in retrograde up until I think the 25th, and then you got to think we've got that two week shadow period afterwards. So that's going to take us into May. So it it could be that energy for you. Um, it may not have happened yet. It might be in the very near future or it's happening now. The energy's pretty present, but I feel like you're going to be okay. Just take care of yourself, girlfriend. Just take care of yourself, Claire, okay? I hope this helped you, and I'm so sorry if it was sad news or anything like that. I apologize. I hate to bring that to you, but I do feel you're going to be okay. This is something you need. Um, okay. All right, Leilani's back. Okay, uh, Leilani, I'm going to go ahead and throw you in here into the mix because you were, and then I'm going to go on to um, Joyce. Uh, so did you, can you put your question down there? Actually, let me go ahead, Leilani, and let me do Joyce and drop your question in there and I'll get you next. Okay, is that all right? Pile one for Joyce. Because <laughs> I seen that, Leilani, you said you had a specific question about love, so... All right. All right, Joy, sweetie, are you here? You're welcome. You're welcome, Claire. You're welcome, honey. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Do those good things for you because you're enough. You're beautiful. You're wonderful, girl. So do those good things for you. All right, Joyce. Thank you so much, Spirit, Gods, and Angels, Divine Mother, and Father, and Sisters, and Loved Ones. This is for Joyce. Highest energies for Joyce. Highest energies for Joyce. Highest energies for Joyce. Joyce. Yeah. Whew. Now, Joyce, this may or may not resonate with you, but the energy that I'm getting here with riffling the cards, it's a very hard energy. So I don't know if you've been being hard on yourself or you're going through a hard time or what, but I feel like... Um, if that's the case, it's it's going to end soon too. This is a like a moment in time. There we go. Thank you. Could be also someone else's energy, but I do feel um, as I was riffling, like hard, and that's the word that I get is hard. Um, Guys, we know this is Mercury retrograde, so people are coming back. People are coming back, and not all of it's going to be great all the time. Joyce, you have four cards that came up, um, came out. Three are face down, one's face up. Um, I was getting that hard energy that you might be dealing with right now. And um, the number four is uh, I'm being drawn to the fourth house. Is the energy that I'm picking up here with this number four, particularly for you, is I'm getting fourth house energy. And that's all about, you know, your home, your space, your foundation, ancestors, that kind of stuff. So I feel this is within possibly your home space, your, uh, you know, immediate environment. Could be family, could be mother too, because uh, the mother rules the fourth house or is in the fourth house. So it could be mother. But there's a hard energy and the one card that is face up Joyce is a rat. It says someone working against you behind your back. And then the rest of these are face down. So I, I don't know if these are going to be energies that, uh, the person is, um, possibly, you know, going behind your back and communicating to others about you or how it's going to work out. But definitely, um, someone is working against you, dear. And they're working very hard. You're having, I mean, they're really making it hard on you. 
Okay. So first and foremost, spirit is saying it's time to defend yourself. It's time to protect yourself. Remember in the collective message, if you were here, we had that seven of wands there. Um, and that is all about you standing your ground, standing up for yourself, standing up for your passions, for your life, for your love, for your beliefs, whatever it is. And spirit is coming out with the shield. It's time for you to protect yourself. It's time for you to defend yourself. Uh, you may have to, I'm here and blow the whistle. You may have to like blow the whistle or, or something like that. You may have to share something that you don't want to, but you're being forced to is really kind of the energy that I get. Next, you have the eye coming out, psychic ability, trust your intuition. So spirit is saying to trust yourself on this. Whatever you feel you need to do in this current situation is exactly what you need to do. Do not second guess it at all. You know, you know, I mean, what is right. You know, your, um, your higher self, your intuition is never going to guide you wrong, ever. So always trust that. And I feel like spirit is saying you're spot on. So do whatever you need to do. If you feel you need to blow the whistle or anything like that, do that. Now, last but not least here, we have the chair coming out. It's coming out in reverse. And I'm, I don't usually read these in reverse. Excuse me. But it's coming up in reverse and I'm really being guided to. And this is the empty chair. This is the empty chair and it's coming up in reverse. So I feel like what this is saying is uh, a chair could be filled or you might be getting ready to fill a chair. Uh, you might even be getting ready to step up or something, but it says someone is leaving your life. Now it coming in reverse. I feel like someone is entering your life. Someone is going to come into your life. Someone may come back around. It could be a friend or something like that that has important information for you and they may actually help you through this. They may have, um, they may even support whatever this is that you have to defend about yourself or, you know, with this person. So I feel like someone is going to come back around and they're going to assist you. They're going to help you is what I really get. Someone's coming into your life. I don't see that chair empty. I see it filling up. Um, but that is what I'm getting for you, honey. Do defend yourself. Take care of yourself. Um, say whatever you have to speak your heart. Speak your truth. Do it for you, babe. Do it for you. All right. Hey, John, how you doing, man? How you doing? It's good to see you. You're welcome, Joyce. You're welcome, hon. All right. Like a reading, what does my family think about me? Okay, John. We've talked. To, we've been talking about that a little bit. We'll we'll dive in in just a moment and we'll see what's going on in the current energy. I just want to. Um, I'm going over to Leilani. Leilani, did you get your question up there, sweetie? Hi, love. Sorry, I had to drive. No worry. No worry. Be careful. Perfect. All right. Okay. Leilani, dear, I don't see your question, and you wanted pile two, right? Hi, oh yeah, love. Okay, so you just want a general reading about love? I had to step away. Okay, Venus, Mary, hey, yes, you may. Hey, Brianna. All right. Uh Leilani, did you say pile two? I thought you did. Oh, pile one. Okay, thanks. And just a general reading about love. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, Divine Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. This is for Leilani. Highest energies of love, please. Highest energies of love for Leilani. Highest energies of love. Highest energies of love. Have you moved on? You did move, right? I can't remember. It's been so chaotic and hectic with my own life. I can't remember. I want to say you you moved. Did you move on? Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Leilani, did you move? Ooh. Okay. Highest energies. Huh. 
Okay, Leilani, so what I'm getting is I'm getting in the recent past, we had the temporary clouds, but it came up in reverse. Now, this card has come out for three people, so the number three could be significant for you. You're the third one, but you're the one that it comes up in reverse for. So I feel like Spirit is saying that this is no longer even a present energy. It's like it's the the problem is over, the path has been cleared, the clouds are gone, the sun is out, right? The sun is out and it's bright. And then you got three cards. Oh my gosh, as I was saying, the number three could be significant. I didn't even put that together right away. But uh, the number three for you. So definitely a brand new opportunity for love, I think, is on its way with the path coming here. You got money path. This is about money path, but um, this could be like cha-ching, cha-ching. You know, love is on its way. Love is coming. So definitely, I feel like you're on the path to a brand new love affair is what I'm getting. You got the target. So if you did move and if you were going, um, say with that past love that I, it was a past love, right? I feel like it was a past love. Um, I feel like you're on the right path. You're on the, on your way. This is it. This is your destiny. This is your target. So go after it. Definitely go after it. Um, this could be also about that job too. I know you asked about love, but I have to put it in here because the money path, and I know you were thinking about career as well. So this could also be indicating that you, your whole life is about to level up like money, career, house, you know, love, all of it. You're about to make a big, huge shift. Keep your eye on the target. Keep moving forward. Keep doing what you're doing because you're going to make it. The end is near. Look at that. The end of the path is right there. So it's real close. It's like only a couple more steps. It, it's like it's building. That's what I really get. I feel the energy building for you, um, Leilani. Also, uh, I just want to note this goal oriented person with the target. I don't know. I get an earth energy. So I don't know if you're um, dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or what, but I am getting an earth energy with this card. So it could be an earth sign that is coming your way. That's what I get. All right. <laughs> I hope that helps you, girlfriend. Good luck. Let me know how it's going. Because I, I feel like we were talking about that a couple of weeks ago or something. You were moving and there was an old love and yeah. They are amazing cards. I really love those cards. Hey, Tiana, how are you, girl? How you doing? All right, let's see here. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, you're awesome too, girl. <laughs> you are awesome too. You guys are so amazing. I love you guys so much. All right, um, John, I really need to get Mary here because she's been here the whole time and she stepped out, but she came back in. So if you don't mind, I'm going to do Mary real quick and then I'm going to um, jump over to you, John, okay? Yes, Brianna, you can definitely uh, be added right after John. And then Brianna, you will have to finish up the day. I have to get going. But uh, so I'm going to do uh, Mary real, real quick, who is uh, Venus Neptune here. <laughs> um, I had to step away. OK, Mary, did you. Um, thanks, John. I really appreciate you understanding. Uh, which pile did you want, Mary? I feel like it was pile one, but I can't remember. Your ex is an Aries going to want to get back together. Anything that feels comes up. So this is about an ex. Definitely check out that collective. Well, you were here for the collective message, but maybe watch the playback. Um, cause sometimes you can get things that you didn't get the first time. Uh, anything new coming up? Did you, you said pile one or pile two? Oh, Madeline. Yes. I got to get you too. Oh no. Okay. Mary, I started to grab pile one for you, but I'm hearing no two. So uh, I'm going to go with pile two for you. I feel like I'm supposed to, if you don't mind. You didn't pick. It's okay. It's it's quite okay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, for Mother and Father, Ancestors and Loved Ones. This is for Mary and her ex. Mary and her ex. Highest energies for Mary and her ex. Highest energies for Mary and her ex. Oh, Mary. I started to riffle, 
but I stopped. And the reason I stopped is because I saw the wheel. So we'll see if this comes back, um, comes back around, but this could be an indication that it is going to come back around. He is going to come back around. So let's see. Highest energies for Mary and her ex. Mary and her ex. Will he be coming back? Okay, Mary, I want you to see that flipped. I, I don't pull cards, guys. If you know me, you know this. But for those of you that don't, I do not pull cards. I let them flip, fly, jump, do whatever they need to do to get from me to you. So, uh, Mary, the first thing that I want to note is number five. Okay, now five was overarching us today, too. And you have five cards here. You have four that are face up, one that is face down. So the one that is face down may be something that you don't know about or you're not aware of. The ones that are face up could be something that you already know or um, are on the on the uh, precipice of coming. Like they could be coming. Um, but I don't know if you're dealing with an older man or if. Oh, his name is Artie. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank God the guides know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, okay, Artie. It will Artie be coming back around? I don't know if he's older than you, but it, um, an older man is showing up here for you. This says uh, dealings or a relationship with an older man. So this is coming in. I don't know if this is representing Artie um, himself, <laughs> but there it is. Okay, so he's here. Now, the energy of the five, I think what I was saying is I feel like it's going to come back around. I really do. I started feeling that from the get-go. Um, the first card out was the stork. So a brand new opportunity. Something definitely is coming back around. Something is being reborn here. It's not a birth. It's a rebirth. And um, that energy was in the collective. So it was about people coming back. And that, and sometimes, you know, a lot of tarot readers will tell you that's bad. I'm not going to tell you that because if I can change, so can one of my exes. And, and I believe that if you can change, so can yours. So I'm going to tell you that sometimes someone coming back around is okay because maybe they've done the work. And that was the energy here was you've done the work, they've done the work. So I feel like there's a rebirth here, possibly of a relationship, um, you have the valley coming in, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So this right here to me indicates that you guys have done the work. You've dived in deep. You've went in the emotions. You've, you know, really um, talked about it possibly, cleared things up, something like that. But happiness is on the way. The sun is right there. It could also indicate, um, because it's coming out here in the middle, it could also indicate that it's going to be a little bit more time before he comes back around that like there's a little valley there before you guys got to communicate those things or talk about those things. Then we have the horse, a short journey. So it's not going to be a long time. It's going to be, you know, possibly, well, the energy is like May and that, that came up for someone here earlier, but um, mid May, by mid-May, between now and mid-May, when the shadow period ends of Mercury retrograde, that's when you're going to start seeing things moving forward and the momentum. Right now, the discussions, we're all in the in-between. Things are coming back around and we're discussing the things and getting clear and, you know, and sharing our dreams and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a short journey. It's going to be a little, um, a short time, but definitely love. This is the last card, a short journey to love, my dear. Definitely. Um, how many hearts are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hearts. So the number eight could be significant for you. The eight is the number of the self. Remember to take care, care of yourself, Mary, during this time. Um, it's great, you know, to have love blossom and stuff, but sometimes we forget about ourselves because we get so excited with it. So I feel like spirit wants me to remind you to um, the upside down card was this one, love. That was the upside down card. All the other ones were face up. Uh, so the, the one that was not was love. So I feel like what this says is, um, you know, Artie really loves you. 
Artie really loves you. You really love him. And it was the last card too. So there's, there's that. But I do feel like it is going to work out and it's going to come back around. You guys may have to have some deep discussions with that. Um, the, what was it? The Valley? Hold on. Where the hell did it go? Oh, right on the top. You may have to have some deep discussions, dive down real deep, but I think it's going to be okay. I think everything's going to work its way out. So good luck to you. Let me know how it goes. Hey, Karen. Um, Karen, honey, I'm going to have to ask you to come back next week. I'm going to finish up with um, Madeline right after John um, because I've got to get going. Mary, honey, I hope that helped you. Brianna, hey. Uh, oh, Tiana is still here. My God, I got so many of you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be able to get everyone. Um, so I'm sorry. You'll have to come back. Or you can book a personal reading with me, guys. If you want to book a personal reading and really go deep, I do those. You can email me at the traveling blossom tarot at gmail.com. That's the only way you can connect with me um, unless I've already connected with you through these messages. And remember, I'm never going to solicit you for a reading ever. You're going to have to come to me. So um, do keep that in mind. And if you would like to, you're more than welcome to um, book a reading with me. All right, John, I feel like people don't trust me at all. And I'm at a time that I've never felt so alone. I'm sad, but it's for a better side. I'm sad, but for a side, it's better for me because it avoids arguments and flat fights. Um, you're so welcome, Mary. You're so welcome. John, sweetheart, I just want to give you a great big, huge hug right now. I know um, it's hard to sit in the darkness. Uh, it's It's very hard. Oh, come on, dude. Give him that heart, that hug. It's very hard to sit in the darkness and to go through these things um, and to have, you know, our mind sitting there telling us that people don't love us, they don't care for us, all that stuff. It's kind of ironic, John. I just had this conversation with my um, best friend. We've been best friends since we were kids. And I just was telling her the other day, and she never even knew about it. She never even knew. She had no idea. Um that uh, I always felt like no one cared. I, I always felt like I didn't matter that much. Like I didn't matter that much to her or to, you know, anybody pretty much. And it was something very difficult for me to go through my life with. And when we were talking and I shared this, she was totally amazed. She was like, oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? She was like, I love you so much. You, you have been, you know, like my rock, my person, my go-to, you know, forever. I couldn't have done this without you. And that just showed me in that moment that that whole time I was wrong. I was wrong. So I feel like spirit wants me to share this with you, John, because maybe just maybe you're down in that darkness, that um, depression, you know, those things that we get into. And you're beating yourself up being your own worst enemy. And maybe, just maybe, your family actually does care a lot about you. And sometimes, John, it's us that has to change. We have to make the shift. We have to make the change. So maybe this is just about you reaching out and, and telling someone your truth, sharing your truth with one of those family members saying, you know, hey, I feel like you guys don't love me or you don't want me or whatever it is you're feeling. And I don't know if many people from my family realize that you're gay. I remember us talking about that too, sweetheart. I remember, I feel that they feel I'm breaking family traditions and sometimes the answers I have are shady, are shady. Also, I'm a Scorpio and we know how Scorpio people, yes, we don't trust at all. I'm a Scorpio rising. I'm a Scorpio rising with an eighth house sun moon. So I'm like all kind of Scorpio. Uh, yes, I totally get it. We don't, we do not trust. Well, we do not let people in our circle. Well, we don't open up well either, John, we don't really share our darkness. Right. So let's see though. Let's go into, um, the cards and see what they have to say. And, and, and it's hard to be in the one John that has to break the, uh, generational curses, etc. Hold on, Bubby. We'll go in just a moment. Um, so my heart really does go out to you, but I promise you, John, you are not alone. 
you are not alone in this at all. And I guarantee you that if you reach out, you're going to find someone that's going to let you know that, that you are loved and cared for so much and that you mean so much to some people. I tried to make them for a lot, especially cousins, and they always have excuses. Don't go for a walk with me. Okay. John, maybe, honestly, it's about changing your perception and how you see them. Maybe um, they're not that active. Maybe they don't like walks. Maybe you need to meet them on, you know, at a level of where they are. Meet them with what, something they like to do. You know, uh, what do they like? Maybe, you know, maybe they like um, zip lining, you know, hey, let's go do that. And maybe zip lining, John, scares the shit out of you and you don't want to do it. Like, I don't want to get my feet off the ground, but that might be the thing that you have to do. You may have to put yourself out there and really open yourself up and share. So maybe do something that they want to do. Uh, you are getting the number four, John. So definitely um, you've already talked about it. This is a lot of your family We've been talking about this for a few weeks and, and John, I just want to say, I love you. And I, and I absolutely 100% accept you for who you are and you are gay. That makes you just as beautiful to me. Be your beautiful self. You are accepted. You are safe here. Okay. So I just want to say that to you real quickly and um, don't hold yourself back. Do not isolate and do not become something that you are not just to satisfy other people because you're amazing. And the right people are going to know this, okay? Um, you, again, you have four that are um, coming out here. So there's the foundation. There's the family, all that. Three are face up. So these are probably things that you've known you're dealing with. And one is face down. So that's something that we're going to look at last. We're going to see what's unfolding here. But we have our contracts. Number one, the first thing coming out is the ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. This is contracts. This is choices. John, you're the creator of your life, the co-creator of your life. You can, you know, change this. You have that power. You have only the power to change you. And it does start with you. And when you do that, it kind of trickles down. So I feel like spirit is saying, lean into your contracts, lean into your people, let them know, you know, where you're coming from. And also put yourself out there to do things that possibly, you know, are out of your comfort zone. Um, there's a lot of, you know, stuff. I feel like there's dark energy and I feel, um, there's a lot of stuff putting you down and, you know, and, uh, just piling up on you. Um, but you can change all of that. You can change your outlook. You can say, okay, what can I do to help myself through this? Right. Which, you know, that, I mean, you're a Scorpio, you're constantly freaking transforming. You're constantly going through stuff, you know, changing all of that. But this is definitely about your contracts and your choices. So what choices can you make to improve your relationships? The ones that you want in your life, what can you do? to improve those relationships. Next, we have the egg. So I feel like something is here. You can plant a seed. You can lay an egg, so to speak, right? Plant a seed. You can make a change, plant a seed, nurture it, take care of that seed, water that seed, right? Success is assured with good plans and hard work. So nurture the seeds, water the seeds, give your energy to it, give love to it and let them build, grow and blossom because you have the power. Then you have the candle coming in. It's a light. You will be shown the way. Dive into your intuition. Trust it. Your guides are leading you, John. You're, they, they are leading you down the correct path. And unfortunately, John, and I know this is very difficult. I've had to let go of a lot of people in my life. As a Scorpio rising, you understand what I'm talking about. I'm constantly transforming. I've let go of a lot of people in my life. And I'm like you, uh, the generational curse breaker. And, you know, one of those people that I literally had to let go of was my own mother. And it hurts like hell, John. It hurts like hell. There's not one moment that I don't think of my mom and the fact that she's older and she might pass. And I love her. She's my mother. 
I love her. So I totally get, you know, how you feel. But sometimes people are just so bad for us, you know, that we have to let go. So this could be about you needing to let go of these people, John, you know, um, and you'll be shown the way though. You will be shown the way the light will be on. Just trust yourself, trust your intuition. And the one that was face down, John, is I feel like spirit is saying, John, the right people are going to come into your life. You've got to put in the work, the energy, the effort, create it, create the life that you want. And the right people are going to come into your life and they're going to be loyal to you. You've got the dogs. Dogs are the most loyal creatures in the world. You've got the dogs. These are, this is going to be your soul tribe. People are there. You're going to find love. You're going to find everything you need. It says getting together with friends. So put yourself out there, gather with people that um, bring you joy, that love you, that you don't have to question whether or not they care about you, whether they like you, whether they agree with you or anything. Dive into the people that you know accept you, right? And that love you for who you are because you're amazing. So don't let anyone tell you you're not, okay? Okay. Um, but definitely it's going to come together. Just put that energy into it and let it grow and build. Let's see. It is a hard one, Brianna. Uh, yeah, I've been seeing that since my grandma, grandma passed, but you know, I feel sometimes like there's nothing there in the world for me. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. I am so sorry. I totally get it. And, and ha most of us, I guarantee you, if you ask anyone in this room, if they've ever felt that way, they have. Um, I totally get it. And right now, John, this is such a transformative time. So it's definitely a hard energy. Um, maybe, you know, meditate a little bit more, feed your body some good stuff. Uh, take a little bit better care of yourself. Put more energy into you. Um, put more thought into you. How is John feeling today? What's going on in John's life? Not necessarily so much. What are they thinking of me? How does John think of John? What do you think of you? How do you feel about you? I mean, can you look yourself in the mirror and say, Hey, I'm a beautiful person. I'm a good person. I, you know, or whatever. Do you like what you see? Right. This could be about you needing to give yourself that love and to change your perspective on how you see yourself. Because when you see yourself in that negative light, then you're going to think everyone else does too. And one day you're going to wake up like I did and have a friend that says, are you fucking kidding me, man? You've been everything in my world, you know? So, so take care of yourself. It's like fighting to get something to do in my life. And then people don't select you because they don't care. Yeah. I understand. I understand, John. Um, those ones that, you know, don't, they're not for you, sweetheart. They're not for you. And I know that's hard to hear and it sucks and everything, but they aren't. Um, like I said, it's hard to let go of people that you don't want to, but sometimes we have to, we just have to. Okay. I was going to finish up with, um, Madeline, right? Guys, help me. I think that's what I said. <laughs> um, Madeline. Madeline, are you still here? When I look at the mirror, I hate to look at my face. Oh, oh no, John. Oh, John. Okay, Madeline, we're going to open up for you and then I'm going to get going. But John, um, one thing I just want to uh, recommend to you, okay? You don't have to take my advice. You can, you know, whatever. But these are a couple of things that helped me along my path. And that's all I really have to offer is what my own experience. And some of those things that helped me was one doing um, uh, sleep hypnosis, where I did positive affirmations, played them all night long. They helped me to reprogram my mind and um, to release some of those negative ground thoughts that I had about myself. Also, I used the Ho'opono prayer it's a very, very powerful Hawaiian prayer. It's only four lines. Um, I'm sorry. I love you. I thank you. Please forgive me. And that works for you and others. You can say that for yourself and you can say it in, in the set of other people, you know, apply it to the, those that you're having difficulty with. I'm sorry. I thank you. I love you. Please forgive me. 
and um, just saying those, but that has really helped me um, in changing my, the way I saw myself. And I really feel like John right here, this is about how you see yourself. And last but not least, I'm going to offer you this one thing. I used to date this guy and um, I never liked what I saw in the mirror. I never appreciated anything. I didn't see anything good about myself. And uh, he, he came into my life and he saw this and he stood me in front of the mirror every day for 30 days, right? Because it takes like, you know, that some people say 30 days, some people say 20 days, whatever. It takes a minute to create a habit, right? And he would stand me in front of the mirror and he would um, tell me to hug myself, right? And I would hug myself and I would look in the mirror and I would say, I love you. I love you. And it was so hard. It felt so weird. And it still does when I do it, because sometimes I have to remind myself to do it to, you know, to embrace myself. So maybe try some of that stuff. We'll see if it helps you. Good luck, babe. Good luck. All right, Amy, general message. Why did I say Amy? Madeline. <laughs> what? It says Amy. Amy general. <laughs> okay, Brianna. Did I say that? That's why I said, please help me. Please help me. Cause I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm pressed for time too. Uh, but yeah, Brianna. Okay. We're going to finish up with you, Madeline. I've already got the, uh, amethyst. So we are going to do Madeline and then finish up with Brianna and I have to go. Hey, Lola. I need one of you guys to keep me straight because I'm telling you the comments get lost and, and, you know, then we have some conversations sometimes. So my apologies for being a little windy there. Thank you so much, Spirit God's angels, my mother and father, ancestors and loved ones, highest energies for Madeline. 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 Holy shit, Madeline. Really? Really? <laughs> Madeline? <laughs> Didn't I just tell you I was pressed for time? <laughs> Oh, let me get these cards. Where'd they go? Oh my God, where did they go? I know I see. Ah. Okay, Madeline. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. All right. Madeline, you got eight cards, okay? Yeah, eight cards, that's the number of the self. So this could be um, more about yourself. Not necessarily, but could be. It's also Leo energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo or this could be about um, your own Leo placement. So do check out all that stuff. I told you how to, you did. <laughs> you did tell me that. Um, so two cards fell off the table and they kind of went out of sight. So I really feel like this energy is something that is in the past. Okay. And so the past we have, um, coming together, a rat and a tiger. So very vicious energy. I feel like, um, you may have dealt with some really, um, shady characters, real vicious energy, uh, you know, really, uh, like ready to pounce. Like you, you may have even, even been ready to pounce on somebody or something in the past, maybe someone that was doing some shit against you because the rat, it says someone working against you, the tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. So the energy that I get here though, is that there was some viciousness going on in the past. Uh, some, you know, not so great energy that you dealt with and you may have pounced on somebody or someone, you know, pounced on you. It may have even been a physical altercation. I'm even hearing that. I don't know if it is, uh, you know, I'm not judging, but I am hearing physical altercation. Um, Next, we have this feels very present because we've got past, pre uh, past, future, present or past, present, future energy here. And we have like way off in future energy. So in the present, I feel like, uh, well, what we have is we have the bat coming in with the money path. The money path is about, you know, you're finding your way, uh, um, finding your way, finding money, something like that. Uh, it says, take care, enemies are working against you. So there is still this energy um, lurking, you know, in the shadows, um, possibly from this person or this energy in the past, because this is past, but it was like energy. It feels like energy from a long time ago, 
um, somewhat. Uh, but definitely there's still that energy here in the, in the very present. This could be about, um, people sneaking into your money, sneaking into your pocket. You might want to check a bank account with the money path coming in there with the bat there. Uh, this could be, um, talking finances with the bat. It's a, you know, it's a, um, a bird or not a bird, but a flying creature and flying creatures are all about messages. So this could be about communication about money, trying to find out where money went, uh, where did my money go? That kind of stuff or resources. If, if, if it's money, um, it says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. So definitely, uh, I feel you're looking for something, but you have some energies working against you in the past, in the present, there's some of that energy. And then off to the future, everything is in the upright here for the most part off to the future. You too, Madeline. Madeline, sweetheart, I don't know what's going on with you, but definitely someone is lurking in the shadows. Um, the energy that is coming back around may not be necessarily uh, a good one, or you're already experiencing this, or you're going to experience it possibly in the um, retrograde here. But uh, even in the near future, it shows sorrow. It shows sadness. It shows you um, dealing with people that are trying to manipulate you trying to force you, trying to force a hand, trying to whatever, whatever they're trying to do. Um, spirit is saying, protect yourself, shield yourself. Uh, you may have to do, I'm hearing like a cloaking spell where you like cloak your energy. You do some sort of spell to cloak your energy, to protect yourself, because you've got a lot of forces that are coming against you right now. They're coming out from the past. They're in the present and they may even be in the future. You have, um, in the future, you have the weeping willow with family sorrow. And then you have the club. This says, uh, someone trying, uh, someone will try to make you do something against your will. You have the club and then you have the protection in the future. You're going to have to stand your ground. You're going to have to step up and let everyone know, you know what? Hey, uh, uh, I know me. I'm not doing this. You know, I'm not going to do anything you want me to do. I'm going to, I'm, I'm me. I'm not doing shit. Right. And it may cause a lot of grief. It may even be a riffle in like family because that family sorrow is there. Um, it may be, uh, you have to exit someone out of your life even. And then the off distant future, we have the wind chime. So you're going to be going through this period right now. Um, Madeline, it could be just during the retrograde and the shadow periods. Uh, but things are going to start to um, become easier for you. You have the wind chimes. So peace and harmony is in, in your future. So I feel like the message here for you is spirit is saying, protect yourself, take care of yourself. You're going to be dealing with some struggling, you know, some uh, energies that are not that great. Um, so just take care of yourself, nurture yourself, tend to your needs, all of that, stand your ground and before too long, everything's going to be okay. It's just one of those curveballs, you know, those moments in time, a curveball. Let me see what you're saying here, sweetheart. Um, you are a Leo. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, pretty close, but not physical. Good. I'm glad it wasn't physical. I came back to my ex who had cancer and he passed away. Oh, honey. Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, you're going to, Oh, that's wonderful. And truckers better leave. Yes. <laughs> Major boundaries and stand them. You're going, I'm going to be moving and starting to live my life my way. Oh, beautiful. Everybody send her those positive, loving thoughts. That's beautiful. Beautiful. You're going to love your life, girlfriend. When you do. You are going to love your life when you do. Seriously. All right. I'm going to move on to Brianna and then I've got to get going. Um, I might pop back on here later today, guys. I'm actually thinking about it because I know everybody's been wanting to know what's going on, what's going on with the RV, what's going on with my life and all that. So I think I'm going to pop back on here later and, uh, just chat and just let everyone know what's going on because my life has taken some huge shifts. Um, some things have, I'm, some sacrifices were made 
And um, it's okay because, uh, you know, with sacrifice comes great reward. So there's still things that are, you know, okay. But I, I'm going to come back on later and talk to you guys about it. Uh, so Brianna, love with Kaylin. Do you want pile one or pile two, um, Brianna? I don't remember seeing, but if you could tell me real quickly. I feel pile two, but we'll let you pick it. And I'm going to take a sip. Uh, my coffee and back it up with some water because like i said our water is very important uh brianna they're all tea leaves just tell me if you want pile one the amethyst or pile two the agate um there's 200 of these tea leaves so i split them in two stacks of 100 so that you guys can engage um lydia sweetheart i'm gonna have to end today with brianna uh but if you can come back next week i'd love to read for you you know that i love reading for you i'm so sorry i can't do it today uh excuse me and by the way guys uh just a quick announcement i have officially changed the time of the live tarot to 10 a.m eastern standard time so mondays east uh 10 a.m eastern standard time Still the same. I'll be on here for about an hour and a half, uh, something like that, so about 11.30. But just uh, maybe change that on your calendars or something. Make sure the notification bell is hit for you guys, too, um, so that you'll know when I'm going live. Because uh, someone reached out and said that it had changed. And a lot of times, you know, uh, the algorithms change and stuff, and then it, it knocks everything off. So, uh you have that deck too and was wondering like how does she use that <laughs> i know right that i was like how am i going to use this and you know since you have it you know that it comes with a bag and um i was just like i don't like the idea of picking cards i feel like if i'm picking cards that's me picking cards i like the idea of them just jumping out for you you know i feel like that's more like spirit so the bag just wasn't going to work for me and so I prayed on it and I was like, you know, Spirit, I really love these cards. I really feel connected to them. So how can I use them more, you know, if, you know, how can I use them? And this is what I got. I got two piles. So um, I often shift and change them around, you know, like I'll go through and I'll double check because sometimes, you know, uh, when I'm doing the cards, sometimes I'll accidentally put the cards back in a different pile than what they came out of. So I always go back through and make sure that they're still a hundred, make sure they're still, you know, whatever, and kind of shift, riffle them around. <laughs> okay. Brianna, sweetheart, you said, let's see here. I want to make sure I read that right. Love with Kaylin. Okay. All right, Brianna. So you got three cards. So the number three is significant for you or likely significant or might start showing up as the energy of the empress it's energy of a new birth of something new a change um it's like you know a garden it's like you know gardening and the crops are starting to grow um so what we have here is uh three two are face down one is face up the one that is face up is the wheel and this is like the wheel of fortune it's uh it's destiny so what i get here is there's change your relationship with Kaylin is about to change. Something is about to um, be different. It says indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So this could be about a decision that you guys have to make. It may um, mean that you guys actually come to a decision and, you know, you're going to, the wheel's going to turn because you made a decision. But definitely there's change here happening very, very soon. Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> um, Brianna, okay. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news and I will clarify this, but, um, this could actually, you guys could go your own separate ways. And I'm sorry. I don't know how else to say it. I, uh, you've got the wedge and the valley. And those were the two cards that were face down. So you have the wedge and the valley. 
that were unknown that something that could happen. It says, um, wedge, someone is trying to become between, or someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. So this could also even be about someone trying to, um, stir up trouble or, or create a wedge between the two of you. But there's definitely something here that's going to change. On the valley, it says deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So this could be a very, a uh, large emotional change for you guys like um your emotions could get really riled up right this could get um somewhat argumentative and get emotionally charged whatever situation might be coming in here now these are just some energies that are coming through um but what i feel like spirit is saying is if this happens Try to keep your wits about you, Brianna. Um, you know, you can't do, you can't control what anyone else is doing, but you can certainly control how you react to something. So try to keep your wits about you so that it doesn't get too extreme. Um, I, f I feel like, you know, this could even be an indication that the change is going, whatever change is happening is going to be emotionally hard but you're going to make it through. That's the other way of looking at this. Now do trust your own intuitive prompts. When you see these cards, guys, trust your own intuition. Whatever messages you get are definitely for you. Um, so this, as I was saying, this could be um, indicating that there's going to be success. You guys are going to go through a rough patch, right? It could be that you're going to go through a rough patch, but you may make it through, or it could actually be a breakup. Again, I want to see if there's a little bit of clarification. Let's see. Spirit, can you clarify the wedge and the valley, please, and make it short and simple, please? Make it short, short and easy. The wedge and the valley, what is this? Is this a good change or bad change? It's going to happen. Thank you. A good change or a bad change? What's going to happen? What is this? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Brianna, this could be, um, this could be, I was asking for clarification. You got the crown chakra or the crown coming out. So this could be spirit's way of telling you to tap in, connect with them, and you'll receive the answers that you need, the clarification that you need, whatever it is that you need. This could also indicate that your relationship is going to level up with the crown. I feel like it, um, you know, the hair font energy. So tradition could be wedding, um, something like that. But I do feel you're going to go through a little bit of a rough patch before things, um, kind of, settle down. I uh, feel like it could be how I move about. I tend to get explosive with certain things play out. Okay. I understand that. I, yeah. <laughs> well, if you feel like that's what it is, then maybe, um, you can get out there, do some water meditations, um, get outside, ground yourself. When you see yourself getting, um, you know, riled up and ready to explode, Maybe you can tell your partner, um, you know, I need, I need a minute because if not, I'm going to lose my top. I need a minute. And, uh, you can set a time, say, I'm going to take 30 minutes and then I'll come back to you and we can finish discussing this so that we can have a peaceful resolution, but we're not going to find a peaceful resolution while I'm upset and I'm very upset and I'm getting more upset. So I need to excuse myself so I can diffuse and come back to this. So maybe try that. I don't know. That was just something I learned in my own um, marital therapy. Um, for those of you that don't know, I was married for nearly 20 years and, and I went through a divorce about six years ago. So um, I, we did try, you know, different things. And that was something that I learned through that therapy. So maybe you could try that help diffuse yourself and then you can get that resolution that you need. But, uh, I hope this helps you girlfriend. Let me know. Uh, you guys do, you know, let me know. I love reading your comments and stuff and I'm going to come back and read the comments later, but I got to get going because master needs to go potty and your girl has some tattoo appointments today. So 
get ready for those this evening. And I'm going to come back on later this evening. I don't know what time, but I will shoot a message out to let you guys know about when I'm going to come on. That way, if you want to be here and you want to know what's going on with the, with the RV and Arizona or Arizona, Arkansas and all of that, you can come on here and we can talk about it. And maybe we'll pull some cards too. We'll just have a little fun, have a little party, whatever. But I love you guys. Until next time, take great care of yourself. As always, may love and kindness boomerang back to you. Have a good night. Uh, hugs and belly rubs for master. I will give him belly rubs. I will definitely do it. He's right here too. Love you, girl. Bye.